Welcome to Circus, I'm Mikey, and today I'll be demonstrating how to set up your marketplace in six easy steps. Let's get started. All right, as what you can see right now, we are on a totally new dashboard. We made it very minimal. Any type of user can actually use this. So you can also focus on, on the action that you need to take right away. As what you can see, it's asking us to connect to our blockchain network, and that's what we're gonna do. We will choose from the list one of the uh, blockchain network. Today, we're just gonna be deploying to a test chain. So we're just gonna select that, all right? What it will do is it will restart the page so that it will load the network and it will ask us again to actually connect our crypto wallet. Now from this part is, I'm just gonna use MetaMask because that's what I'm using on my browser. Okay, I'm gonna connect with my browser wallet, MetaMask, right now. And this should give me a uh, confirmation screen, a sign screen where I need to sign the transaction in order for me to uh, confirm that I, I'm the one who's actually signing it. Okay? You don't have to log in with your email or your password. You just need to sign in with your wallet and, and that should be enough. We allow users or ring masters to deploy anonymously and that's completely fine. All right, so what you can see right now, uh, this is the first interface that you would see the moment you get into our app dashboard. Uh, this will just show you basically two of our tokens, which is the Circus token uh, which is our DAO token that you can use for upgrades, curation, uh, delegation, and, and many more functions. And the other one would be the XMT, uh, the Circus Marketplace token, which is an optional token, and it's also the reflection token for the Circus token. So right now it's not showing the XMT because we are on a test chain, all right? But if it's on a, on a main, uh, main chain in Binance, um, BSC, it should, it should show. There we go. So here are the list of products that we will be uh, deploying in the coming weeks. We have the Explorer, which where you can actually um, see or discover all the other marketplaces that was deployed by other uh, Circus Remasters. And then the Deployer Studio is where we will deploy the marketplace, basically. We also have the auctions where you can do the uh, token auctions and it's zero fees. We don't charge because we believe that, you know, Circus would be the, the launch pad for, for your token utility. So the moment you got your token sold, you can, you know, start deploying a marketplace and start using an, or allowing your investors or your users or your community to start using your token by minting something on your Marketplace is using your token. It's a little bit circling there. And we have the DeFi Studio. We'll, we will announce this soon. But, but for now, we're just going to go with the uh, Deployer Studio. And I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step on how to deploy your Marketplace. All right. Now we are on this uh, screen. It's completely blank. We don't have a Marketplace right now. I'm going to click on Create now. And uh, there we go. So this is the screen that we should get. So deploy your marketplace in minutes. It's really in minutes. We literally said that. Uh, so the step one will be choose your blockchain. Circus is a blockchain protocol agnostic. It supports any EVM compatible blockchain protocol that can run and deploy smart contracts. So contact us if you'd like support for your blockchain of choice so we can deploy our propriety smart contracts to it. And there's no credit card required. There's no wallet key support needed. It can deploy anonymously at your own risk, right? The reason why we don't, you know, accept credit card because you know it's 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 a thing of the future, man. Um, but again, but then again, you know, it, just for convenience, people would still, you know, have still have that. But I, I believe uh, in a decentralized future, uh, credit card will be a, a thing of the past, right? So here we are. We can still select what kind of what which blockchain we want to deploy this marketplace but for now we're just going to select with Binance test chain because that's where we're going to deploy it and I'm going to click on next okay. the next screen you would see would be the marketplace form tell us more about your marketplace let's check if your if the desired name and marketplace URL is, is still available so I'm just what I'm going to do right now is just is to upload a logo I'm going to select one of that I have in my folder here okay 
and I'm gonna put in the uh, name of the marketplace for now, just probably like fantasy, right? And if you can see, it automatically provides me with the uh, with the slug for the URL, which I can you know still edit this if if you want to. You know, you can still um, edit it if you want to. And there will this is a drop down, so there will, could be other um, domains that we will uh, that will be available here in the future. We're just gonna click on verify now. Um, usually if it's not available, it will give us a success message. If it's already, if it's not available, yeah, we could give us a, a success message where, you know, it just says we can use this. And I'm gonna click on next, boom. So there we go. Uh, by the way, earlier I was able to deploy uh, some, some meta already. So the meta center, okay, is, is actually recording the marketplace stats the exchange transaction, the earnings, and the invited reward. So if you want to deploy this, to deploy this, actually, you just need a gas fee. Um, you don't have to send any any BNB or, or ETH to run this transaction. Just quit, you know, using gas fees. Uh, I'm just going to choose one of the meta here from the option, and I'm going to click on next. Okay. And we should get the screen, deploy market center. Okay. All right, so the market center contract allows you to use multiple accepting tokens liquidated with decentralized with different decentralized exchanges, which basically that oh this is what we introduced the multi-token and multi-exchange decentralized exchange setup, uh, which that is paired with unaccepted stablecoin like BUSD, USDT, USDC, and Dai, or whatever um, stable token that is available on the blockchain of your choice. All right, so we have the min fee, which is de facto default at one dollar. Oh, by the way, the mint fee is required is the required amount to mint the collectibles. So the mint fee can also be called like you know other NFT marketplaces call it storage fees or listing fee. Oh, by the way, the mint fee and your transaction fee is is the one that is used by the platform to actually split the different parties. Let's say so. Usually the amount on mint fee is in dollar because um, the, uh, the 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 uh, the mint fee is be, will be distributed to different parties like uh, the ambassador, the circus platform, and basically for you. So the way we the way it was distributed is that twenty five percent goes to the ambassador, twenty five percent goes to the platform itself, circus, and fifty percent goes back to you as a ringmaster. All right, and then the other one is the transaction fee, which is the marketplace percentage fee from F every on-chain purchase. The thing here is that we don't um, set the uh, contract to actually do like a uh, commission base, but we just you know charge with transaction fee. We don't add any commission fee on first sale. We just go directly with your transaction fee, a marketplace transaction fee, which you can actually configure from 2.5% up to 5%. So it's up to you to, to you know um, change this. Uh, but yeah, this is, you know, this, you can actually just, uh, configure this if you want, but the default would be 2.5%. All right. And we actually made it, and this is the, uh, the search, search a token you want to accept. What is a token that you want to accept? Right. So for now, since we are in test and I'm going to search for market paired with the BUSD that is, uh, created in PancakeSwap. So this a specific search would actually load uh, the router information, the pair, and the, the address of the token that I'm using. So it means that uh, this marketplace would accept um, a market token and it will perform the, uh, the conversion to dollar in BUSD through the mint fee and it will actually split to receiving parties and there. That's how you will receive your, your share from it, right? So let me just uh, go with the de deploy uh, button right now. I will click on this, and it should actually ask me to send a transaction to the blockchain. And let me just confirm this. I'm still loading right now. All right, there we go. Let me deploy this. Um, real quick. Oh, 
okay, it's, it's, it's creating right now, and we should see the, uh, the marketplace created, and we need to just select it. All right, and it should tell me, hey, okay, so site deployment successful, blah, blah, blah. All right, it shows me the error message. I was just gonna go back a little bit. All right, so we're hyper clicking right now. All right, so we're on step five right now, which is deploy collections. So it's asking what kind of entity collections are you offering? If you can see, there's actually a lot of options in our list right now. Like there's a single type, multiple type. We have the subs uh, subscription tiers, music, game P2E, play to earn, uh, streaming, and emitting type of contract. So we're just gonna deploy a, a single a single collection contract right now, which is an ERC721. And probably just gonna put in here a name like fantasy. Uh, one collection, 721, and I'm gonna put in the symbol, and it's C721, okay? And I'm gonna deploy this. And I'm gonna confirm this. Oh, by the way, the uh, the collection contract that we have on a single and a multiple already contains the fixed price, the auction, and the time auction features. So, if you if the uh, creators wants to like set whatever price they want to put in there for the NFT, um, whether it's you know they want to sell it with a fixed price or they want to um, do an auction or a time auction, it's already available there. Okay, and then we're gonna go with the next, and you should actually tell us, like, you know, right, you are now a certified Circus Ringmaster. Learn with us at Discord, connect with us at Telegram, and visit circusfantasy.com now. Share your community and allow content creators to start minting, sharing, and collecting collectibles. All right, and that's it. This is how we deploy your marketplace in six easy steps. Just visit the, the page right now. All right, there we go. So this is the standard interface, okay? And it will be uh, updated very soon with our newest marketplace UI. So stay tuned with that and we'll show it to you. And bye-bye, thank you so much for watching this video.